I'm going to demonstrate the AMA AC electronic controller. The controller is the component of the actuator that has all your user interface, selector switches, push buttons, indicating screens. It can be mounted onto a multi-turn actuator or a quarter-turn actuator. Um, it's the user interface is the same either way. Uh, where the controller gets its information as far as the actuator position is in the electronic control unit. Um, those are always located in the actuator itself. Uh, those electronically monitor torque position um, and limits and communicate it up to the controller. It doesn't need any power to remain or uh, to save these settings. So if the actuator is powered off and it's moved using the hand wheel, um, it's, it's electromechanical, so it, it'll always recall the correct position. So, as far as your user interface, for the most part, um, the only adjustment that children need to make electronically is the position. Um, there's a lot of other settings you can do, which are done um, through the same kind of basic mechanics that I'm about to show you. But uh, let's just say right here, we want to position this valve. Um, let's say right, right there is where actual close position is. And so we want to set the limit there. You set the controller to the off mode. Hold down this button to go into programming mode. Go down to customer settings. And now um, you can go to limit switching. You want to set position open or closed, set to closed. You log in as a specialist by default, and the password is just all zeros. So now it's telling you position it closed and then hit enter. So we've already done that, so I'm just going to hit enter. So now it's indicating to me that we've set the in position closed. So I can go back one screen, and now we want to set in position open. <clears throat> so you can go ahead and hit enter there. Now it's asking you to move it open and then hit enter. You could either open it manually with the hand wheel or you could actually switch it over to electronic mode and uh, hit open. When you're doing this, just pay close attention to the valve. As you approach the open limit, uh, stop it and finish the rest of the way by hand. The actuator has no way of knowing where to stop because you're setting the limit. Um, but once you have it positioned, same routine, you go back to the settings mode, it's still on the screen where it wants you to confirm, go ahead and hit enter, and there it's set. So then to back out, um, you just hit the this programming button, you just keep backing out until you're back to your main screen. So here we can verify that it's been set, it's open limit is set. As it travels closed, it shows you the percentage, blinks in the direction of travel, and it stops on its limit. It'll also display the position if you're manually operating it. So you always have like a live feed on what the position is. And um, so that's all there is to it. When you do that, when you set, when you set these actuators, it automatically adjusts, uh, if this is like a modulating application, it automatically adjusts the position feedback and the position command. Uh, so you don't have to set all those functions independently. It's all already made automatically done when you set the limits. Uh, the hand wheel itself is convenient because it just uses a push button mechanism. So if you have to climb up the ladder to access this actuator, you can maintain three points of contact and with your free hand, you can push in the D-clutch and then start spinning the hand wheel. And once you've done that, you're engaged and now you're free to operate this hand wheel. So um, it's, it's pretty convenient to use that, uh, that design for the D-clutch. And anytime you operate it electronically, it automatically uh, clutches the motor back in and then D-clutches the hand wheel. So that way you never have a hand wheel spinning at the same time as the motor, that would be a hazard. So that's, uh, for the most part, you know, your, main, your basic settings. You can adjust torque, you can adjust your relay outputs, um, but, you know, fundamentally you can pretty much do everything via the push button station.